My name's Sarah Yak, and for the past four years, I've been traveling around the United States in my self-converted camper van. But recently, I cleaned out my van, packed a bag, and moved to Asia with my girlfriend for the next four months. This week, we explored remote islands in Japan, tried unique foods, got interviewed by a morning show, and struggled to figure out how to get to our flight after our ferry got canceled. We just got an email that our ferry was canceled, so we rushed to the port because we need to get on this ferry. Our flight is tomorrow morning. train right now to the airport. I think the train is like 30 minutes long and we use this pass, the Akoka pass, and you can just put money on that pass and then at the end of our trip we can give it back and get our 500 yen deposit back. These people at the bus station stopped us to interview us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 And now they are escorting us to our flight. This is so funny and they are so cute. Oh, yeah. so cute. Bye. <laughs> they have these all over Japan and we managed to find a vegan one, so we're gonna try it. It's so soft. That's amazing. Not just as good as I thought it'd be. It's so soft. We just landed and we got some onigiri. I got the seaweed, or wait, what is this? Kelp? Yeah, kelp. Kelp flavored one, which we've been loving. They also have pickled plum, which we like. I definitely messed up how to do it, but let's try. these packets of ramen with our friend May in Osaka at this natural grocery store. It wasn't all vegan, but it had these different flavors of vegan ramen, so we got one of each kind. A couple days ago, we landed in Naha, Okinawa, which is the main island. But around Okinawa, there's all these smaller islands. And so we decided to go to this one called Tokashiki. It is such a little baby island. There are only a few hostels here. It's, like it's five miles long. It's five miles long. We thought in our head that we could get away with not renting a car or a motorbike. But turns out to get to all the good beaches, it's like an hour away on a walk. And also you can't do taxis or Ubers here. So we rented a car and they drive on the left side of the road here versus the right side like we're used to in America. So this oh, yeah, should be interesting. <laughs> Fingers crossed we don't die. <laughs> we got the car. Let's drive to the beach. driving but where are we going <laughs> just keep going oh you know what i can gps <laughs> <laughs> Gave us these pens and we're drawing some stuff. Oh wow, Sarah, that's so pretty. <laughs> I like that a lot. I just started. You're so talented. <laughs> I want to do that. If you see what I'm drawing right now, you'd probably laugh. No, it's literally so it's good. It's so simple. I'm copying you. Sarah, that's so good. I can't even believe it. <laughs> Tori, you are so silly right now. No, it's like pure art. 
You would think I drew the Mona Lisa the way my girlfriend hypes me up. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you spell Ariganto? <laughs> Do you even know? Because Diamond's no way. There's no way you spell it that way. Can you please help me? Know. Please help me. Let me look it up. Shoot, it's stuck, Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, it's... Of course, it's a Sharpie. It's a Sharpie? Hmm. I don't know how to spell it. Sarah, I'm stressed out. How do you spell it? Oh, there's just an ooh at the end. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato Oh, like that? Yeah. yeah? Like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is our last full day here on this island, so we are going to try to do all the excursions. Overlooks or beaches too? I think we should do overlooks and beaches. Well, we already did a Haran beach yesterday and the other beach is Tokushiku, which is apparently more remote. So we're gonna go there. And then we're also going to try to do a lot of the overlooks. We already saw the east lookout and the west lookout yesterday. Do the Kuban Daki lookout? Uragua lookout. <laughs> First stop is Tokushiku Beach. It looks so beautiful and it's a little more remote than the other beach that we were at. So let's dip in. We have to dip into every beach here because I think that's just an actual law. It's very humid here. Very humid. It makes me want to go sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna see if I can make some sort of skirt with this. I don't know. Oh, this that's cute. It definitely looks like a towel though, right? No. This is the only place on this entire island that has a vegan option and it's a vegan pizza. We saw this online. It has, I think it has tofu on it. So let's see. This is the skirt. Oh, you look cute. Honestly, kind of batty. <laughs> I'm so happy this place is open. We actually tried to eat here last night, but it was closed, so. They hooked us up. Oh my gosh. I was expecting to just get like tomato and bread, but look at this. Wow, this is a very interesting box. Okay, ready? <laughs> I just like <laughs> opened the box completely. Oh, wow. And then look, there's each different, one is different ones. Shut up. That's amazing. Wow. There's that one. And I was like, is that cheese? And she was like, no, tofu. <gasps> what? And I don't know what the third one is. A beautiful pizza. Look at it. So excited to eat them. That restaurant actually had all the seats reserved, so we had to get pizzas to go, but that's fine because this is our first lookout of the day. We thought we were gonna do so many, but we got caught up at that beach. This lookout is called Tekumaya Lookout, I think, and it's so beautiful. So we're gonna eat the pizzas and watch the sunset here. Mmm, that's good. Wow. That's so good. Wow, they already filled it with that one. Happy dance. This has tofu cheese, tomato sauce, and cherry tomatoes and spinach. Mm. Oh no. Mm. Oh no. I would drop I would drop the red one. Mm -hmm. That is really good. I feel like Americans sometimes don't understand that putting marinara sauce on pizza dough is not enough. Whenever you ask for a vegan pizza at a non-vegan restaurant in America, I feel like they'll often do that. And it's just not good. And they really they they understood the assignment here. Fun seasoning on that one. That's really unique seasoning. There's beans on it too. Beans? Mm -hmm. No, it's olives. Those are black olives. Oh. <laughs> we only have three hours left on this island and since we only went to one overlook yesterday, we're gonna hit a few more today. Yesterday we went to Teruyama Lookout. I figured out the name of it. And then today, I think we're gonna try to do Kubandaki Lookout. We're just gonna try to go around this entire island really and do every single lookout that we can find that looks cool. So, first on the list, Kubandaki. Oh, don't scratch it up. Well, I'd have to pay 1500 bucks. 
Oh my god, it's literally not a road anymore. Are you sure, sure it's not sad. saying to walk? Like, now how do I even reverse? Just said that to take it. I don't know. It doesn't say to you. walk? No. It usually says when it tells you to walk. So just back up into that and then turn around. To the left? Yes. Oh my god. Oh you god. didn't do what I was asking you to do. At all. Okay. I can't go into those bushes, Tori. I feel like we're scratching up this rental car. Jeez. It's fine. It's probably not even scratching. It just sounds pretty sad. Real talk, Tori and I actually got in a fight about that last scene where I drove the car into a walking path. Sometimes in stressful situations, we become careless with our tone and it will turn into a fight and that was one of those moments. We spent 30 minutes at this overlook, but she was on one side of the building and I was on the other. Anyways, I questioned if I was going to share that footage of us in the car, but I think it serves as a good reminder that what you see online is a highlight reel. Your favorite online couples still fight, the person whose body you admire still struggles with theirs, and traveling the world is still exhausting and lonely sometimes so that's your little reminder and don't worry Tori and I made up pretty quickly at this overlook said sorry and then continued the rest of our day happy it started to rain pretty heavily so this is gonna be our last overlook of the day I'm excited You're excited for, what? for the overlook are you hungry do you want ramen I want ramen so bad ramen it is We just got an email that our ferry was canceled so we rushed to the port because we need to get on this ferry. Our flight is tomorrow morning and they told us that we have to leave in like an hour so we're going to rush back home and pack everything up and then go. Tori started making this ramen and now I'm going to finish it while she continues to pack her bags. I feel like Tori and I have gotten so good at working under pressure together. Like we just know exactly what needs to be done for each other and what to do. So she made sweet potato, mushrooms, broccoli, and then we're doing just a miso broth. You didn't put the broth in yet, right? Um, no, I haven't put broth in. Okay, so we're doing a miso broth. We just got this massive tube of miso paste. So we can put it in any ramen we find. We are really cutting it short on time. We're gonna scarf down this ramen and then run to the port, basically. We also have to um, return the rental car. <laughs> glad that we made it and now we are in Naha we have to wait about 10 minutes to get on the bus and then we're going to our hostel which is like really close to the airport so that's really convenient yeah it's basically in the airport Corey did so good with finding this hostel. It was only $30 a night, so $15 per person. It has a very comfy bed, air conditioning, a TV, a microwave, a fridge, a restroom. It's a private room, honestly, so great. And with the microwave, I um, warmed up this rice. We have seaweed and we're just snacking on this because our journey to get vegan food was an utter fail. <laughs> we could not find Ubers. I walked into a restaurant, I like slowly open the door, I'm drenched in rain and I open it and there's just like two people sitting there at this tiny little restaurant bar and the person, everyone looked, all three, the chef and the two people they were just all like, looked at us and then she was like, no, for members only <laughs> and I just feel like I looked crazy. I think they were like teaching them how to cook or something or I don't know, it was mm -hmm. like a private showing, it was so weird. Another travel day. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please like because it really supports my channel and subscribe because I post videos every Sunday. This was episode three of the Asia series and to next week will be episode four. Ah, I don't need to tell you what episode it is. Basic math. See you next week. Bye.